In the last lecture, we have seen about all the primary maxima, minima, and secondary maxima of diffraction pattern due to n slits grating. So now, so we have understood that for, uh, depends all the pattern. It will depend upon the number of slits value of n. That how many maxima, minima we are going to get. So let us now take example of some finite number of slits. And then let us see graphically that how much do we understand about the intensity pattern. So let us take an example of n is equal to 6. So here I am taking an example of n is equal to 6 where n is the number of slits. Number of slits. And I know that my intensity pattern is sine square n beta by sine square beta. The diffraction I am not taking into account. Okay, first I want to see diffraction due to single slit, sorry. So, first I want to see the intensity pattern due to sine square n beta by sine square beta, where beta is pi by lambda e plus b sine theta. So, let us now try to plot this on the graph. Here I have drawn three graphs. The first one I will try to plot sine square n beta. Second one I will try to plot sine square beta. And then I will try to combine these two curves and see how my intensity modifies sine square beta. Here I will take the values of n beta on the x-axis and y-axis will be sine square n beta. Now this is a normal sine curve which and the curve will look like exactly as you see as you have seen in Young's double slit experiment. So here I take n beta is equal to 0 pi 2 pi 3 pi 4 pi 5 pi and 6 pi and so on. So now here if I take n beta is equal to pi then I will get at 0 sin 0 is 0 sin pi is again 0 all these points I will get minimas and in between the minima I will get a usual maxima. So my curve will look like like this. And all the mini maximas will be of equal height as we got because it is a usual sine curve. Okay. Why I have taken the 6 pi? Because I have chosen n is equal to 6 that will help me to get the values of beta. Now here the values of my beta will vary as here if n beta is 0 my beta will be again 0. Then if n beta is pi beta will be pi by n and n is 6 so it will be pi by 6. 2 pi by 6, 3 pi by 6, 4 pi by 6. 5 pi by 6 and this will be pi. That is why I have chosen 6 pi. So now in sine square beta it will have minima when beta is 0 and when beta is pi. For all the other values I will have some intensity and my maxima will be at 3 pi by 6. That you can check by putting the values. Okay, pi, pi by 6, 3 pi by 6 will be what? 3 to the 6 pi by 2 and it is we have a maxima. So I, my maxima is here, rest all values I will have some well intensity. So my the graph looks like this. And this pattern will repeat. Again here it will keep on going like this. I am just drawing one part. And so on. And again it will go and here 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 pi by 6, 9. 10 pi by 6 in the center it will get maxima. This curve will again repeat. So I am not interested. Now I want to superimpose these two curves and try to find sine square n beta divided by sine square beta. Now you see that for beta is equal to 0 I have a minima for sine square n beta. For beta is equal to 0 I have a minima again for sine square n beta. So, when I divide these two values, I will get 0 by 0 form. And by L-Hospital rule, you can prove that 
at beta is equal to 0, I will get maxima. That's what we got in the intensity pattern of grating. So at beta is equal to 0, I will get maxima here. Okay. Now, I will get a maxima here. So my maxima will come like this. Here, if my numerator is minima and denominator is some finite quantity, I will get minima. That also we have seen. So wherever my numerator is minima at pi, I will get minima. At 2 pi, again I will get minima. 3 pi minima, 4 pi minima, 5 pi minima. Then again at 6 pi, when both numerator and denominator are 0, again I will get maxima. And these are my primary maximas. So my pattern will look like, like this and so on. So I have two primary maximas and then when I've earlier I have told you for n is equal to 6 between two primary maximas we have n minus 1 minima. So I should get 5 minimas. Let me check 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That is correct. I should get 5 maximas. Then I should get n minus 2 secondary maxima. that is equal to 4. So I will get these two mi minimas will be joined to give you maxima 1, 2, 3, 4. So whatever we have learned till now is correct and we are able to verify it. Now the important point which is remaining is the intensity of the secondary maximas. So we have seen that as n increases secondary maxima intensity dec decreases and so but for a fixed value of n how is the intensity for the secondary maxima let us check. Now, in this column, my numerator is same everywhere, but my denominator is changing. So here, my denominator is more, so there will be some overlap. So my numerator is divided by something, so it will be less than the primary maxima. So for example, if I get like this. Now in the second column, numerator is same, but my denominator has increased. So when the denominator is increased, my quantity will decrease. So here I will get less intensity. Again here it is symmetric. It has to be symmetric because I already told you that every grating element is repeating. So there is a symmetry in the experiment. So here again I will get the same intensity for second maxima and in the fourth column my denominator is decreasing but my numerator is same. So the intensity of secondary maxima will increase. So this is how the intensity of secondary maxima look like. So with going to the right with the value increase of beta, the intensity of secondary maxima decreases but then increases when we reach to the next grating element, next slit. So in between there is some overlap. So this is how my intensity of the secondary maxima looks like and it is very clear that as you take more and more number of n, the number of secondary maxima will increase and the intensity of the secondary maxima will, in, will, also, will keep on decreasing but up to a certain extent. And then again there will be, there will be a overlap and again for the second grating element we have a similar kind of pattern. So I hope now I give you an exercise just try to make the such kind of intensity pattern for pattern for n is equal to 4 and n is equal to 5. Okay. Thank you.